so we're going to continue on with our program. Elizabeth is here and um, she is the owner of Be The Light Wellness and she is a um, beautiful earth angel and she's going to take us on a journey to the Akashic Records and do a bunch of cool stuff. So everyone, please welcome Elizabeth Powell. <laughs> welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. Um, I'm super excited to be here and to guide you guys through the Akashic Records. Um, if you've never heard of the Akashic Records, it's in layman's terms, it's basically the book of life. Um, and so it holds the records of from the moment that your consciousness was even created and reincarnated into the earth or onto the earth. So it has all your past life, your present life and future life possibilities in it. Um, it also holds like any contracts, bonds, um, vows that you've created for yourself or with other people. And it's, it is a basically whenever you go into the records, it's, it, you only receive information that you're ready to receive. And it is nothing but love. Honestly, it's just, it's the most wonderful experience. And, um, you know, it really gets to the truth of a lot of matters. And so for what I'm going to be doing in this journey is I'm going to be taking you to your Akashic records, helping you to access your particular individual records. I'll let me graduate, but they, here's what they did became. They became. <laughs> and so we're going to go into your records and we're going to go to the section in your records where it has every single uh, bond, oath, vow that you've ever made, whether it's this life or past life. And the ones that are particularly keeping you held back or stuck or in fear, um, you know, and in, in sometimes in past lives, for example, we may take a vow of poverty, okay? Um, depending on what you've done in that particular life. So things like that, those are kind of outdated. You're in the present life needing to move forward. And so we need to reconcile and complete and close out those bonds and oaths and vows so that you can step forward. Okay. So um, I am going to, I have a little candle here. I don't know if you guys can see my little candle. This is to help you visualize if you're not a visual person. Um, and so with this, this is also some shamanism stuff that I do as well. So once we get there, I'm going to have this candle lit. Okay. And this is just a little, little stick that I have here. And what will happen is that you also will have your own visual, spiritual, um, little wood stick here. And once you blow and uh, put all of the energy of your oaths, bonds, and ties into that stick, we will burn them all together and watch them be transmuted into love and light to God and source. Okay. So um, I'm going to go ahead and light the candle. And if you will just get into a comfortable seated position or you can lay down, have your feet planted on the floor or just relaxed if you're laying down. And just take a couple of breaths in and out of the nose. Just allow the muscles around your eyes to soften. And just breathing naturally, bringing your awareness down to your jaw. And just relax your jaw. You can find some space between your lips and your teeth. And just allow your tongue to rest naturally at the bottom of your mouth.
And just breathing deeply into yourself. Allow your shoulders to relax. Your fingers, your wrists, your hands. And as you come to your awareness at your hips, your inner thighs, and your low back, breathing deeply into that space, and as you exhale gently out the mouth, just let your inner thighs go, relax them. Just feel that relaxation as it travels down your legs, moving into your feet. So you relax your toes. And as you begin to relax fully, I want you to focus. on the space just above your head. The Akashic Records is located in your soul star chakra. This chakra is located a few feet above your head. And you may feel or know, or you may see it, a beautiful star just above your head. And you may see it as a purple, a gold, a white star, but just notice it. This may be the first time that you're ever connecting with it, and that's okay. And very gently, just bring your inner vision upward to your soul star chakra and see its light begin to shine brighter and brighter. just having the intention and asking your guides or your angels to gently take you into the Akashic Records, feeling yourself begin to rise into your soul star chakra. And the Akashic Records may look different to you. For some, it may be a beautiful place in the clouds. For others, it may look like a beautiful hallway or celestial library filled with doors or books. There's no right or wrong.
And as we enter into the Akashic Records, I would just like to ask the Archangel Metatron, the keeper of the Akashic Records, for guidance and access to your records and for you to have access to your individual records. And as you go through the records, just have the intention and ask to be shown your individual records simply by saying to yourself, thank you for allowing me access. And I ask to see my records and that they are open to me. And again, for some of you, you may start to see things or feel things as the records open there's usually a welcome message. Just notice that. For some of you, you may see yourself reading through your records like a book. Some of you may see a scroll in front of you. Or you may see just images or feelings. But as you go through your records, Just ask to yourself, to the records, to go to the location of all of your soul contracts, oaths, bonds, vows. And as you look at these, or you feel them, you may not understand all of them. And others, you may know very well in your life right now. And I want you to imagine, as you were looking at this section of your Akashic Records, there is a beautiful white candle sitting on a table next to you as you read them. And a small wooden stick. This flame is to help you 
to transform these outdated bonds and oaths into love and light to help you move forward. I want you to visualize holding that small wooden stick in your hand. And just take a few moments to meditate with the intention of your oaths and bonds that you're looking at and reading in the Akashic Records. That those things that hold you back, the soul contracts that are already fulfilled and the ones that keep you bound, unable to move forward or stuck, There's struggles, the same themes in your life that you seem to stay in that same cycle with, but just can't break free. As you hold that spiritual wooden stick in your hand, I want you to breathe in the essence of your oaths and bonds and contracts through your nose. And then blow onto the stick. All of these oaths and bonds and see how the wooden stick holds them. And do this breath as many times as you need to. And whenever you're ready, visualize putting the stick filled with your oaths and bonds and contracts onto the candle flame. And watching it burn with the intention being able to move forward in your life with ease and abundance, with love, thanking those in your life that have taught you wonderful lessons. And saying these contracts, oaths, and bonds are complete and fulfilled. And I release myself and others associated with these vows and bonds to this flame. And just watch as it burns completely. Noticing any sensations in your body.
And as the stick burns completely, just take a moment. And while you're in the Akashic record, you can ask the records anything you want to ask them. Whether it's guidance on a subject or how to move forward. And just notice what you feel or what you hear or see. And if you don't feel or see anything, that's okay. Sometimes it takes time for clarity to come. And it's time to leave the records. And so very gently, continue to breathe and say to yourself, thank you for guiding me through Archangel Metatron in the records, for allowing me access. Thank you, Akashic Records, for the beautiful messages. And wherever you are, whether you're reading a book or you've entered into a doorway or you're reading a scroll, just see that closing. Going back to the same place where it was. And returning back to the starting point of where you entered. And to come out of the soul star chakra, simply bring some awareness to your eyes. Feeling your body returning back, your spiritual body coming back to your physical body. feeling renewed and cleansed, lighter.
And just ask your angels to help you clear, cancel, and release any unwanted energy from your aura and your chakras for your highest and best good. Returning you to a state of peace and balance. And you can bring some movement back into your fingers, your toes. Allow yourself to come back slowly. So just to, you guys can take a moment to ask any questions about the Akashic Records or maybe share your experience. Hi, it's me, Michelle. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was so weird to me because like when, when I walked, like when I first got to the, to the, um, to the, I guess it looked like a library to me. Like it was a lot of mm -hmm. books, like in shelves and shelves of books. And then I even saw one of those like rolling ladders that like, you know, that people look, well, I don't know if they still have those in libraries, but like it was one of like an old school library, you know, like with tall, like, mm -hmm. like tall. You, I mean, you had to climb up these stairs to get to the top. Um, and like some of the books were like falling out, you know, I guess because I don't know why it looks so old to me. But um, I was there and then instead of like, like, reading words on pages I, I was getting like all kinds of visions um you know like I got a vision of like an Indian lady and then um a soldier and like these two I had a vision of these two guys walking or like getting closer and closer to me which is kind of weird um and if I guess since it's the first time I ever been there like I was like what is all this you know like I, I didn't really I don't even I still I'm like thinking like what is this um which was super awesome and then the other thing that I saw was the color purple like there's purple like in the back of my eyes like purple everywhere and I'm like okay um but it's really cool like to have that experience because now I can kind of go back and like be like oh what does the color purple mean what does the, you know what do I think this means you know and I can take some time to like figure out what does this mean for me you know because for me it was just a bunch of like a visions um you know so um I'm gonna definitely try like again and again like to try to like use what you did and like go back and see if I can like even make some more like connections <laughs> about like what just happened to me you know what just what did I just see so thank you so much that was like super super awesome so you're uh, welcome great I, mean, I don't know if anybody else had the same experience or or anything or anything like it but um thank you so much that was really great <laughs> that was great wonderful. you're welcome that's wonderful yeah um yeah, some people do see it like a like a big I've seen that before where it's like a big library it depends on it depends on where somebody's records are stored. So it's interesting to me as a reader. It's like when somebody wants me to do a reading for them and I go into the Akashic records, sometimes their records are in a book and I have to go into the library. And sometimes it's like a doorway where it's like, okay, like like, please allow me access to this person. And it takes me to their door and I open it and it's like a big scroll in front of me. And whenever I ask oh. questions, it highlights like where that part of it is. And so visions huh. like that are very normal. Um, 
And the color purple really is to like help you. It's to really help you see the truth. And that's what the Akashic Records is. It's like a divine truth to help you see things that maybe you're not seeing or that you need to find clarity on, things like that. Um, huh. I'm kind of, whenever you said Native American and the soldiers, you probably are seeing you in the versions of you in a past life. And so wow. those are the parts of you that probably needed to be addressed with those oaths and bonds, because usually soldiers and you know Native Americans, they are going to take, that's just part of their culture. It's part of the, what they do. And they are going to take a lot of bonds and oaths and vows either for yeah. themselves or with other people yeah yeah that's cool that's, that's cool. so interesting Very oh cool. my goodness yeah but it <laughs> was funny because it wasn't a scary thing at all like I was I felt like at peace the whole time you know um when I, while I was seeing all these things um so like it felt very like it was me like it was like yeah. <laughs> oh, interesting reading myself or something I don't know it's, it's very interesting that was really cool. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. That's awesome. For 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 me, it was like when I went in, I seen the library too, you know, all the books and it's just really big. But I went towards this this blue shining light that was at the end of it. Mm -hmm. And when I got there, there's this like um almost like a pond, but it's in a it's like a chalice, a huge chalice type thing. You look into it, and it's like a shimmering like like almost like water yeah. huh. and looking into that it started just glowing and then I started seeing the scrolls rolling out of it mm -hmm. and then from that point it was just like taking a visual tour through different things like different lands and valleys and it was beautiful it was a lot of fun ah, cool. <laughs> <That's> very cool. <laughs> very cool. <laughs> I love it uh hello Hi. Hey. It was really nice. Like the other two, I went into a library full of books and high up. And um, and it was a book for me. And and um, I couldn't see any letters, but, but I saw myself. Yeah. Ah. And, uh, and, and it's not the first, it's not the first time that I see myself with a black dress, you know, with a uh, braids up so it, it's a uh, old, old time <laughs> I can't identify the the era but um I felt that um, I needed to do something with that life or that experience um and um it, I had seen it before uh, it's just it's um, I don't know if I'm following <laughs> what I need to with with that. So I asked and it it wasn't very clear. So maybe next time. <laughs> um, the only thing that I'm kind of picking up immediately whenever you said that was it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not kind of seeing what exactly, um, like your profession or what you did in that life was. But um, it seems like you died too quickly. Uh, on a soul level I don't know if that resonates at all it almost feels like you didn't get to do what you wanted to do or what you were called uh, to do uh, I, saw, I saw before I was I fell off a cliff I'm not okay. sure if I threw myself or mm -hmm. if it was an accident so and I'm wearing this black and uh, tortured expression so yeah. Yeah. yeah this time it was not as tortured it was more it's peaceful uh, it was yeah. just like sitting there looking at me so <laughs> um <laughs> hopefully found yeah. some peace uh, i don't know no. yeah well i'm glad that it took you back since you've seen that before i'm glad it took you back to that to that same vision and hopefully it kind of cleared up a few little things there for you um because yeah sometimes on a on a soul level we just feel like we in order to move through life and some in some lives you know we may go through a trauma or just you know it's like we kind of expect to suffer in life and that's not that's not so but sometimes in different lives we that's what we kind of expect and um and so that's kind of like 
a, an expectation or a bond or a vow to ourselves. And so hopefully that, I don't know, if, again, yeah. I don't know if that resonates to you at all. Um, it does, it does. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So I'm hoping that that kind of cleared up at least that exactly. kind of belief concept and trauma for you on a soul level. Yeah, so it's a, a very Catholic, uh, you know, to like have to suffer to to yeah. merit the heaven. <laughs> right. But that's that's <laughs> so, so, it resonates, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes, thank you for helping me see that. Yeah, thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi. Go ahead, Lynn. Hi. I saw. Uh, do I have time to share a little bit? Sure, why not? The Akashic Records, yeah. I saw a, a lavender and felt lavender, soul star. And then I was in the the classic library, the Howard, the Harry Potter type library with the ladder and wooden ladder and really, really tall. And then I was guided to look on the floor and there was a huge book. And it said on it, the book of knowledge, and it just opened up and there were all blank pages. And there was just a feeling like, well, that karma is complete because I've been here many times before and gone through the lives and resolved those and such. So it's just curious. It's a blank page and that's what I'm feeling. And to just accept that's how it is. It's been that way for a while until I know what to do next. It's like I have a another um a whole other lifetime in the time that i have left here so the pages are blank and then the story is mine to script is what i get absolutely absolutely that's kind of what i'm seeing too where it's like you know um there probably was a numerous other lives where you were you able to clean up some karma and so now it's like you're getting to start fresh yeah. and um and that's wonderful. That's wonderful, really, truly. And uh, and so just just enjoy that. <laughs> yes. And I was walking briefly. I was walking along the creek bed. It's so peaceful here, right in town. I walk a few steps, and there's all things happening, you know, in town and everything. And I came across this leaf. It's just suspended mid air. I know I can't see for the life of me. I can't see the spider web that's holding it up there or something. But it's just suspended and like dancing around. And then there was a soft wind with the leaves rustling. It's like I'm in a magic portal or a tunnel down here. It's really nice. something. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's really something. Nature, that's my thing. So anyway, yeah. thank you for letting me share. And thank you so much for that beautiful experience. I oh, appreciate you and, and what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Elizabeth. Isn't she amazing? I told you I have the best friends ever. Um, <laughs> Elizabeth's <laughs> awesome. Um, she's also part of our network. She also gives, um, she does past life regression, very affordable past life regressions as well. Um, anyway, if you're interested in that, um, she has a store on our website. But Yes to the light. Yes to the love. Yes to the love.